Hi, and welcome back to my podcast. And if this is your first time here, hello. My name's Lisa, and I love to share all things knitting and yarny fun and crafts that I'm doing currently. And I have just another regular episode for you guys. So if you're coming back, hello again. It's so nice to see you. I'm so glad that you came back. And I have some pretty fun, exciting things that I am continuing to work on. So, uh, with that being said, I want to say a quick thank you for leaving all the nice comments on my previous podcasts. I am deciding to go with the bobbles, but I think I'm going to do like an alternating pattern because I, I just think that would look cool. So, I did start it to figure out um, how I want to make that design and the construction of it specifically, but I'm not going to share it because I'm actually going to end up frogging it because I didn't like the way that turned out the first time. But hopefully, um, take two does better, and if not, you know, third time's charm, right? So that is what that is right now. <laughs> um, the next thing I guess I should talk about are my uh, finished objects, which I currently have none that I can think of that I haven't shared yet. I have been a very lazy knitter this last week, to be honest, and I think a lot of that is to do with the seasons changing here where I am. Knitting is definitely more of like my fall and winter thing, and I definitely tend to go more towards crochet or even um, sewing in the spring and summer, so I have been on such a high for that lately, which I will share some of the stuff that I have planned for that um, for that craft. So I don't really have any finished objects, but I do have some progress for my whips. So the this here are the gloves that I am making that match the cargo pattern for the cargo cowl that I finished and. Um, this is so far how it's going. So these are the backs of the mittens and you can really start to see the, the dip stitch pattern really show through here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this is the front and I basically followed the stitch count for one of the free patterns that I found, um, for gloves or mittens, not gloves. And then I realized like, oh, these are, they're gonna be knit like identically. There's no right or left. And I wasn't sure how I felt about that. So then I went and looked for another pattern and I did find one, but it was the same thing. They weren't gonna be knit um, right or left. So I decided to kind of make it my own in a sense where I am knitting one right and one left because the back of the mitten is obviously gonna have this pattern. Uh, but I'm basically just knitting one identical to the pattern and then one identically in reverse. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, I've been able to keep up with it and I've just been, just been following the pattern for the dip stitch to go increased with the uh, actual mitts. So that is how they are t coming, which I actually think they look really cool. It's hard to actually get a good look at them with um, the lighting in my house, so having it under this light, I can actually really start to see how how that stitch is looking, so I'm very excited about these. I also should share the project bag that I finished that I'm keeping these in. So, oh yeah, and I'm knitting this two at a time, which is um, quite fun, but I'm get figuring it out. So I made this cute little project bag again, and this one is kind of like a rectangle, I guess. I mean, they're all technically rectangles. But this one has these cute little tabs on the end and um, is definitely not as deep as the other one that I made, but it is a little bit wider. And I was really disappointed in myself because I didn't... I fell for this one video that I thought was going to have seamless lining. It did not, so my lining is not very pretty, but um, I think I know how to fix it up so that way the next one that I make will, and I'm very, very excited to make some more, and I even bought some more fabric that I think is going to be really cute, 
and I also bought some interfacing so they can be a little bit more structural and have a little bit more integrity than these things. But um, they have these have just fit in there very nicely. I just caked it up. Um, I had exactly one skein left of this fabric. I hadn't even like opened or gone into it at all. So I tried to split it up as evenly as I could. Obviously I did not do a great job. Um, but I'm not too worried. Uh, I think there'll still be plenty of leftover. And it just uh, fits pretty nicely in there. So obviously you just can't tangle yourself up in it. That's the biggest thing with knitting things two at a time is the yarn management, to be honest, and like not getting your project tangled. Oh my gosh, as I literally am tangling up my project. I think I got it. It can be very easy to get it tangled up. So I try not to um, grab too much in a sense from it and not fiddle too much. But this has just been a nice little sized uh, project bag. So once I get those put away, I will share the fabric that I got at the end of the video. Uh, during my acquisitions page because I fully went to the yarn store expecting to pick up some more yarn or at least try to get some inspo. I, ha I did almost buy some for a cute little project that I want to do but I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer but I ended up coming out with yarn or not yarn <laughs> with fabric at literally every single one of the stores that I went to so that was kind of funny. Uh, the next whip that I have are my cute heart socks and these have just kind of been um, on hold because I'm, I want to do a contrasting heel and that's what I need to do next and I haven't just looked it up yet on how I'm going to do those and if you do notice I have a little bit of a wonky foot shaping going on because I decided I wanted to knit a certain size, I think I said, I started knitting size one, thought it was gonna be way too small, went up to size three, realized that's gonna be way too big. So then I went back down to size two. So that's why there's this um, fun little funny sock shape <laughs> going on. And it's actually not as noticeable on camera as it is in real life. Maybe it's just me looking at it in reverse, but I don't care. Nobody's gonna really see it, it's on my feet. And I have been knitting this with, I should talk about the yarn, I've been doing this too much. So the yarn that I'm knitting these with are the same yarn that I made the cargo cowl in, which was Big Twist Spice in the color Rust. And I got this, I think, in 2021 for like Black Friday, I think is what it was. I ended up knitting a cardigan in this same yarn and this is what I had left over. And I, it's not very fun to work with. I do not like it, especially when it comes to frogging, it is a pain. But it's supposed to be like a faux mohair, which I think is why it's such terrible yarn to have to frog. And then this is with Hobby's Rainbow Sock Wool, so. They have a plethora of colors and I am using this as well as this gray and this really pretty red. This is the color scheme and I'll insert a picture of the cute hearts sock pattern here and I want this to be the main color of the body of the sock. This obviously will be the heart and then this can be the stripes and it's a I think it's um, the color way is color 03 and this I believe is sand and then this one I think is just gray this is color 11 and then the Bordeaux I believe is this yeah and this one is color 34 I believe this one was Bordeaux so or Bordeaux um, I have just been keeping these nicely tucked away in this really cute little 
project bag that I made. I'll show you really quick here before I tangle up my yarn again. Oh, and I'm just knitting these on my Chowgu uh, Red Twist Red Lace Cable, which I absolutely love knitting socks on these. I'm kind of like convinced that Magic Loop is the only thing that will work for me because I like using Magic Loop for small circumferences anyway. I just feel like I get a more defined stitch that doesn't pull necessarily. Sorry, this is the bag. <laughs> Um, I got these zippers thrifted. I got like 25 of them. They were 25 for like two bucks, which was a really, really good find. I was not expecting that. And they're all 12 inch zippers. So it's a little bit of a heavier zipper than needed for a project bag. So it's a metal zipper. But I got this really cute fabric that was gifted by my mother-in-law. And then I used uh, just some uh, poly cotton for the lining that I got at I think Walmart actually so But I thought this came out so cute um, I made that one a while ago, but those socks have been on the needles for a few weeks now And I really need to just make the heel because I know once I do that it'll go a lot quicker I just don't like having to knit completely straight and that's my thing with socks I notice is like I'll start it, I'll get to a certain point, and then I won't want to do the next step, and it'll take me like forever, but then as soon as I do the next step, I'll get them done in like a day, I swear. It's insane. The next whip that I have is this, which is supposed to be a blanket, just a simple garter stitch blanket, but I was getting way too bored of this. As you can see, it's not very far. It does look like it is kind of far though. You can almost make it a shawl soon. But I'm not going to. I'm actually just gonna frog it because I'm not... It's such a mindless knit, but at the same time, I don't really care to knit on it anymore. Like, I just knit on socks for mindless knits. So I'm gonna frog it, but I do have an idea for what I wanna do. So this is obviously a lot of yarn. This is the Lion Brand Pound of Love. I had gotten this, I had gotten a gift card from Joann's, or to Joann's from like my mother and my mother-in-law, they both got me <laughs> gift cards and I love that they think of my hobby. <laughs> and um, I was going, I told myself like, okay, I need to get yarn for a blanket because I'm never going to spend the money on a blanket if it's not like on a gift card. I just, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't take my own money and put that all on a blanket, especially I think because I know I'm not gonna finish it. I think that's the real thing. But I did end up getting like all of these really pretty colors, um, plus this one, to make a really cute blanket. And I still think that this, I still think that this would be an absolutely adorable blanket, but I just don't wanna make it. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some granny squares and I'm gonna make one of those cute little granny square bags. I'll insert a picture here. That's the inspo. And this is the color scheme. So, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. I think I'm probably gonna have it done this week cause I don't know, I haven't crocheted in a while but I also do know like the granny squares are pretty, like they don't take too long to make so I think I'm gonna end up doing that. I just haven't decided on like what's gonna be the the like color palette. Well, I'm, I have the color palette, but like the way that I'm gonna lay out the colors, I haven't decided on that yet. But I think it'll be, I think it'll be cute. I do think that I am gonna have to like <sighs> swift up some of this into a hank and then just make a small skein that way rather than knitting straight from this giant hunk of a of a skein because these are just massive and they're kind of hard to actually pull yarn from so I think I, I'm better off just winding it up into a hank and then winding or actually I could probably just wind it straight granted I kind of do want to just break it up so I might either just wind them all into hanks and then cake up the ones that I know I'm going to use right away 
and then that way it gets rid of like this bulkiness and I just have some pretty hanks that I can have. Um, or I'll just, I'll just see when I get there, I guess. I don't really know for sure. But if you're curious, I have the color Mocha and these are also 100% acrylic and it is a worsted weight. So I have the color Mocha, the color Cinnabar, which is like this really pretty kind of dusty rose. And then this is Vanilla, just a really nice simple cream. This comes off a little bit too yellow on this camera. And then this last one, I don't remember what the color is. I will put it here if I can remember. If I don't, I will just put sorry, I can't remember, and I lost the label. So, I don't remember. But I think that'll be one of those cute little like granny square bags that I'm kind of obsessed with seeing all over the place. That is uh, all of the whips and stuff that I currently have. So here is what I want to talk about for the first sewing edition of this podcast. I got some of the cutest fabric I have bought in a while. I used to like make scrunchies I made so many scrunchies with these like fat quarters and I think I can make some of these cute little project bags with them as well. So I was definitely in the spring vibe going on here and okay this I actually got for like five dollars at the Dollar Tree of all places. I was not expecting that um, but there are five fat quarters on here and these are all just neutrals. And I'm probably just gonna use them for lining because I like neutrals in my lining. But I got these really, really pretty lemon patterned. Um, these I got from Joann's. These are the palette, the fabrics. They are so cute and they like feel, I mean, they, they're a little bit more summer than spring, but still, like these are, adorable. I think like this is one of my favorites and then this one's also really cute. This one too. I just love them all. I really like that lemon theme lately. And then not to be surprised but the next one that I got is also fruit themed so I think I have a little theme going on here where I like fruits in the spring or at least the color palette of fruits. I don't really know. I also did try to go for more of the blue because I have blue zippers. But this is the other color palette that I have here. And these are also so cute. So there's like these oranges here and then you've got like the orange blossoms, this cute little plaid. Um, I don't really know what this is, but they're like flowers supposedly supposed to be like the orange blossom, I think. And then this also has just some really nice cute little patterns. Um, there's some strawberries on it. I overall just really think that they're so cute and very, very spring-like. So I think having these as lining will be good. Um, gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just want to go knit, or not knit, I just want to go sew these up, but I probably won't until next weekend because unfortunately it is Sunday night when I'm recording and the weekend has come and gone. So I don't really have a lot of time left. I also did pick up just some more poly cotton for the lining and this is just two yards so I can have plenty of this fabric to use and then I did get some heavyweight uh, interfacing so hopefully this will help with giving the bags some more structure than the ones that I have right now where they just kind of flop <laughs> but yeah that is what I have not a ton of progress on my knits but hopefully the next podcast will be a lot better I also am hoping to release a like 
pattern bundle roundup kind of thing where I look at different spring patterns that I'm interested in and hopefully I can share that with you guys. If not, then just disregard that last five seconds that I just said, but hopefully that will be the next video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this small little podcast. Again, wasn't much. Let me know if you are into sewing as well in the summer, in the spring, or if you just knit all year round. I'm actually kind of curious to see if anybody else has that same struggle of knitting heavy stuff in the summer. Anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you enjoy your knitting, and I'll very happily see you on the next one. Bye!